Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our infectious disease lecture series. Today we're talking about dermatophyte infections and onychomycosis. Very common problems that we see in people in both in the hospital uh, and the clinic. Let's first talk about dermatophyte infections. These are uh, superficial uh, fungal infections caused by trichophyton, microsporum, and epidermophyton. Uh, usually associated with these uh, infections are, is a papillosquamous rash, usually pruritic, uh, often called ringworm. Uh, when it's on the feet, it's called tinea pedis. Uh, when it's, uh, especially between the toes, it can cause a problem, the fourth and fifth toes, be a, be a nidus of infection for cellulitis and diabetics especially. When it's on the hands, we call it tinea manum, very difficult to get rid of because the, the, the skin is thicker on the palms. Tinea capitis, when it's on the scalp, uh, and tinea crurus when it's in the groin or inter, uh, even in a trigo uh, in, the, in the groin folds if there's uh, obesity. Tinea corpus when the body's involved and tinea versicolor uh, when it's caused by malassezia. So generally uh, topical imidazole creams are fine for uh, these infections or weekly uh, oral fluconazole. Uh, for several weeks. Sometimes uh, topical steroids need to be added because of the inflammatory can, uh, inflammatory reaction to the dermatophytes. <clears throat> Even seborrheic dermatitis is caused by a dermatophyte. Treat with Nisrol shampoo, shampoo 2% um, rather than 1%, which is over-the-counter, and topical steroids. Now, onychomycosis uh, is a difficult problem to treat. Uh, remember the differential diagnosis of dystrophic nails, which is what you know what happens with onychomycosis. There's thickening of the of the nail, sometimes yellowing, sometimes it turns black, brown, or green. Uh, the organism lives in the base of the nail. Uh, taking the nails off doesn't get rid of the problem. Uh, there's a 40% recurrence rate with this type of an infection. Uh, but also think about trauma. Think about lichen planus. Think about psoriasis, and then of course think about vascular compromise. Uh, which all can cause uh, thickened dystrophic nails. So uh, what is the, how do we treat this disease? We usually use oral uh, terbinafine uh, daily, 6 to 12 weeks. We can use oral fluconazole weekly for up to 6 months. Uh, and, of course, itraconazole or Sporinox is also used uh, uh, for uh, several months. All these uh, drugs have efficacy, but they're not... Uh, perfect. Uh, podiatrists now are using laser therapy uh, with some success, so that's another option. Uh, topical oxystat cream has been utilized as well, and uh, like I say, the uh, response rate uh, to the uh, onychomycosis is not as great in general. There can be recurrence, so encourage your patients about that, that this does not become a systemic problem. Uh, Dr. Goldberg signing off.